I'm going to tell the story. So listen carefully. Then I'll ask different ones to tell back the story. Yeah. All right. So this is a story from the Bible. When Jesus came into the temple, the chief priests and the elders, the, uh, the chief priests and the elders of the people confronted him as he was teaching and said, by what authority do you do these things? Who gave you this authority? But Jesus answered and said, I, have, I also have one thing to ask you. And if you, uh, I also have one thing to ask you, which if you tell me, I likewise will also tell you by what authority I do these things. The baptism of John, where was it from? From heaven or from man? And so the reason among themselves. If we say it is from heaven, then he will say to us, why then did you not believe him? But if we were to say that it is from men, we fear the multitude because all of them consider him a prophet. And so they answered and said to him, we do not know. Then Jesus said to them, like, so I will not also tell you by what authority I do these things. But what do you think? A certain man had two sons, and he went to one of them and said, Son, go, I work today in my vineyard. And the son answered and said, I will not. And afterwards, he relented and he went. The man likewise went to the second son and said the same thing. And the man went to the second son and said likewise. And he answered and said, Sir, I go. But he did not go. Now tell me which of these sons obeyed his father. And they said, the first. And Jesus said to them, Most assuredly, I say to you, the tax collectors and the harlots enter the kingdom of God before you. For John came to you in the way of righteousness, but you did not believe him. And the tax collectors and the harlots believe him. And when you saw it, you did not repent and believe him. And that's the story from the Bible today. All right? You want to hear a second time? Yes, please. Yes, please. Yes. I want to make sure I got it correct. Yeah? Uh, okay, listen. When Jesus came into the temple, the chief priest and the elders of the people confronted him as he was teaching and said, By what authority are you doing these things? And who gave you the authority? But Jesus answered and said, I also will ask you one thing. And if you will tell me, I likewise will tell you by what authority I do this thing. The baptism of John. From where did it come? From heaven or from men? And so they reasoned amongst themselves and said, if we say it comes from heaven, he will say then, why then did you not believe him? But if we say it came from men, we fear the multitudes, for they all uh, uh, consider him a prophet. And so they answered and said to Jesus, we do not know. And Jesus said to them, I also will not tell you by what authority I do these things. But what do you think? There was a man with two sons and he came to the first and he said, Son, go, work today in my vineyard. And the son said, I will not go, I will not. But afterwards he relented and he went. 
And the man went to his second son and said likewise. And he answered and said, Sir, I will go. But afterwards, he did not go. Now, which of these sons obeyed his father? And they said to him, The first. And Jesus said to them, Most assuredly, I say to you, the tax collectors and the harlots will enter the kingdom of God before you. For John came to you in the way of righteousness, but you did not believe him. But the tax collectors and the harlots believed him. And when you saw it, you did not repent and believe in him. That's the story from the Bible. Okay, volunteers first, raise your hand who wants to tell first, if not I'll point. Eh? Okay, listen. Uh, listen. Don't look at yeah. the Bible. Huh? <laughs> now we cannot see you, don't look at the Bible. <laughs> I have the Bible behind the camera. Okay. <laughs> uh, how, how to start? Huh? And okay, start with when Jesus came into the temple. And when Jesus came to the temple, uh, the the what? chief priest, the chief priest and the scribes confronted him. Oh, yes, of the people. By what authority do you do this? And uh, and Jesus said, "I oh God, I I, I also I also." will ask you one thing. I also would ask you one thing. Which if you tell me. Which if you tell me, then I will tell you the, the, the authority by which I have. And then, uh, so what the asking? baptism of John, the baptism of John, is it from heaven or is it from man? And then, they reason among themselves, saying, If we say it is from heaven, then he will say, Why did not we obey him? If we say it is from men, then they, they fear the multitude will recognize him as a prophet. So they turn to Jesus and say, We don't know. And Jesus said, I will not tell you the authority that I have. And Jesus said to them, uh, there is a father of two sons, and he said to the first son, go and work in my vineyard. And the first son said, uh, no, I would not go, I would not. And the father went to the second son and, and said, afterwards, go to the vineyard. Afterwards, huh? he regretted it. The son, no, after saying, I will would. not, afterward, he regretted it and he went. Uh, after he regretted it and he went to work. And then the first, the second son said, yes, I would go, but he did not go. Which, he asked them, which, which son do you think is the obedient one? Who, which, which son did the will of the father? Oh, which son did the will of the father? And they answered him, the first son. Okay. And then, oh, they cheated up. Then Jesus said to them, Assuredly, I say to you that the tax collectors. I, assuredly, I say to you, assuredly, I say to you, the tax collector and the harlot will enter into the kingdom of God before you. Before you. Mm -hmm. Then for John came to you in the way of For John came to you, for John came to you, you in rejected the way of him. In the way of righteousness. In the way of righteousness. You did not believe in the way him. of righteousness. But you did not believe him. But the tax collectors? But the tax collector and the harlot believed him. Believed, believed him. 
Uh, and then when you saw it, you did not afterwards repent and believe. Oh, you did not afterwards repent. Sorry, sorry. Then, okay, that's it. Wow, very bad. Yeah, no, pretty good. good. Very good. Pretty Actually, good. Very good. Yeah. We just want you to have the exact words. Yeah, very good. Okay. Now, so who is going to be the next volunteer? Maza disappear. Wa? <laughs> Lying down. <laughs> so are so you going to... Expectation need to tell, is it? Maza, I you are the... Expectation need to tell. Maza, yeah, you tell the... Correct. Now it's Shirley's turn. You tell the... Maza, you tell the story. Shirley wants to tell. Yeah. 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 Then, and when God. Jesus, I'll give you a starting. Yeah, when Jesus God. came into the temple, the chief uh, priest, the, Jesus went into the temple, the the pre, the priest and the elders, uh, said, uh, on what authority? Uh, on what okay. authority that you you say this? What authority you say this? And then Jesus, uh, Jesus said, uh, "What are you here? Uh, tell me this, uh, uh, John the Baptist. John the Baptist. Uh, is it John the Baptist? Uh, the baptism uh, of John. Uh, baptism of John. Is it from heaven?" Or from man, and then the the the, the, the elders the uh, uh, talk among themselves. If we if we were to say it is from heaven, is it, he will say that why don't we uh, believe in it? Or if we will say it is from man, and then the multitude will, uh, will say that he is a prophet. So they said they don't, they do not know, and so Jesus said that uh, if you do not know, I will not tell you what my authority comes from. And then he tell them the story of a man who had two sons. He said the the, the first son, he, the man told the first son to go and work in his wine. And then the, the first son said, no, I'm not going to work, to work to go to work there. And then after some time, he regretted it and he went. And then the second son, he told him uh, to go and work there. And then he said, uh, yes, but he did not go. So he which, said, which son obey, obey him? Uh, they say it's the first one, uh, the first one, and he said no, uh, and he said no. He no, no, said, Jesus, said no. Uh, yeah, uh, and then Jesus answered and said, "Assuredly, I say to you, the tax collector." Uh, surely, I assure you that the tax collector and the uh, will. Uh, Will go to the king, enter the kingdom of God. Mm. But uh, this one, what I forgot. Okay. <laughs> the kingdom of God. And, and, and John and, and, and John, John the came before you in the way of righteousness. And but you all did not uh, believe him. Believe in him. And but the the, the like text collect the harlot uh, believe in him and when they, you saw, when you saw it and what pardon? and when you saw it you did not and repent it, uh, and they, and, they, and, and when you all saw it you all did not repent okay pretty good Shani <laughs> are still very sharp in learning hearing the. Uh, very good, very good. Now, we've got two persons ready, huh? Now, who amongst you all want to volunteer? 
We don't have to have too many. La. One, just maybe one more will do. Who wants to volunteer? I will try. Okay. Okay. So Josephine is trying, all right? You want the setting line? When Jesus came the first the line when Jesus went to the temple. Oh, okay. The uh, chief priests and the elders of the people asked him, by what authority uh, do you do this? Um, Jesus also asked them, uh, if you tell me, then uh, I also have a question to ask you. Uh, uh, and if you will tell me, I, I have a left or anything. Jesus also, um, Jesus said, I also have a question to ask you. Uh, if you tell me, if, uh, if you will tell me, what, I likewise, if you will tell me, I likewise, uh, I likewise. If you tell me, I will likewise tell, uh, you tell you by what authority I do these things. By what authority I speak. Uh, what else? Uh? Then Jesus asked him. Uh, the baptism of John. The baptism of John. The baptism of John. Uh, is he from heaven or from man? If it's, then they discuss among themselves. They say, if if we say it's from heaven, uh, then they will. <laughs> then he. <laughs> then he must be a prophet, right? No, no. Then he and will if he. No, no. Then he will say, why did you not believe him? Then why? They will, then he will say, why don't you believe me? Yeah, believe yeah, him, yeah. him. John, believe, believe John. Then if, if they say it's from men, uh, then they will say, uh, what was his answer? <laughs> They say it's from men, then we fear the multitude. Fear the multitudes. Fear the people. If, if, you, if they say it's from men, then the multitude uh, will not believe him. No. Because the multitude think he's a prophet. They fear the then multitude. Jesus, they afraid the multitude. So, so, they, so what did they answer Jesus? Uh, we don't know. Th then Jesus. Uh, they answered Jesus. Uh, we don't them know. There was a man with two sons. Okay, move on. Ah. Okay, okay, then. He told. He asked the first son to go to his vineyard to work, but he said no. Later, he uh, relented and went to the vineyard. Then he asked the second son. Uh, to go to his vineyard, but the second son said, Sir, I won't go. Uh, no, he said, No, no, no. Will go. Uh, he, answered the, he answered his father, said, I will go. But he didn't go. Jesus asked them, Which of these two sons obeyed his father? They answered, The first son. Uh, Jesus said, uh, the tax collectors and the harlots uh, will enter the kingdom of uh, before you. Uh, because of their righteousness, is it? Uh, 
but what is what did Jesus say? <laughs> he said, "I say to you, the tax collector." He said, "I say to you, the tax collector is better and the highest and more righteous." Enter the kingdom of God before you. The one you right? say already, lah. Ah. Yeah, I mentioned that already. Yeah, she mentioned that already. For John came to you. For John, but for John came to you, you didn't believe him, right? Okay. Uh, what is the last sentence? Uh? But the tax collectors. <laughs> but the uh, tax collectors. Okay. At Harlots believe him. But the tax collectors and the hellers believed him. And when you saw it, and when you saw it, you did not afterwards relent and believe him. You did not afterwards relented, mm. repented. I'm hearing some background sound. What's that, nah? Anybody got an uh, uh, ambulance sound coming out? Yeah, no, yeah. No. From my place. Uh, all oh, your place. Okay. Um, I guess I thought I heard some uh, ambulance. Yeah, from right. my place. Okay. And so, listen, drinking all the medicine. Yeah. Listen, <laughs> you're making so much noise from your medicine. <laughs> okay. Ah, yeah, we see all your medicine. Oh. Why, Why are you so much person? This is my old lady gave me one. I didn't eat. Now I start eating. <laughs> okay. One shot eat all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, all right, go ahead. I'm hey, when did this appear? We try not to uh we try not to move our phone because a lot of interference. Click clock click clock click clock. So as long as you don't touch it, there will be no sound, alright? Set it into a position where you can see clearly. All right, I'm going to do a lead through, and you fill in the uh, fill in the blanks. Huh? And when Jesus came into the temple, temple. the chief priest and the Christ. elders of the, the people confronted him and said, "By what authority, authority. are you doing this thing?" Okay. And who gave you the authority? authority? But Jesus answered and said, I also will ask you one question, one thing, which if you will answer it, tell me, I likewise will tell you. By what authority I do this? This thing, thing. All right. The baptism of John. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? From. From. From heaven or from? Amen. Amen. All right. And so they reason amongst themselves and said, "If we were to say from." From heaven, heaven. heaven, then he heaven. will say, Why then Why do you not, not obey? Believe him. believe him. But if we were to him. say from man, it is from man, we fear the, the multitude for all count him as a, a prophet. prophet. And they answered and said to him, We do not. No, no. No. Then Jesus said to them, I Likewise. also will, will not, not tell, you, tell, you tell you by what authority, authority I do these things. All right. What do you say? A man has how many sons? Two sons. Two sons. Two sons. Uh, actually, what do you think? A man has two sons, and he came to the first son, the son. and said, "Son, go work today in my in the vineyard." Yeah. 
I need yeah. answered and said. Was it answered? Um, no. I will. No. Not. No. no. And afterwards, he regretted, regretted it. And he went. And he went. Right? Then he came to the second and said likewise. And he answered and said, I, I go, sir. But did he go? No. He did not go. Which of the two did the will of the father? And they said to him, the first one. All right, so far so good. And Jesus said to them, Assuredly, I say to you, the, the what? The death collectors. The harlot. Enter the harlot. Enter the kingdom, and the kingdom, of, kingdom God. of God. Kingdom of God. Before, Before you. you. For you. John came to you in the way of righteousness. 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 And you did, you, not, did not obey. Did not believe, obey him. Did not believe. believe him. Uh -oh. But tax collectors and the harlot, the harlot believed him. him. Believed him. And when you, when you heard it, when you saw it, when you saw it, when you saw it, you did not, not afterwards. And, and, Relent and believe him. Okay, so that's the story. That's the story. We have done the lead through. Huh? Now let me let me uh, give you the background again. Huh? All right. So we know how this has been up to the Palm Sunday, right? And uh, Jesus entered into the synagogue and uh, into the uh, city, and before he went in. He wept over the city and he pronounced the judgment for the city. So we know that when he went into the city, uh, the first thing he did was to go to the temple and he cleansed it, right? And the scribes and the Pharisees and the leaders were, were uh, plotting to put him to death because of that, but they could not because of the people. They were very attentive to his hearing. Then the next story said that uh, he, uh, he uh, after that, uh, the lame and the blind actually came to him and uh, he healed them. And again, the leaders were very upset and indignant because the children, uh, not only did he, they see the wonderful things he did, but also heard the children cry out, Hosanna to the son of David. So they were very indignant. Okay, We already said that was because that even the little children were proclaiming him as the Messiah. And so they were actually very upset. They said, Jesus, did you not hear these? And Jesus said, have you not read? Out of the mouth of babes and nursing infants, I have perfected praise. And after that, Jesus left them, right? Remember? He went back to Bethany and he lodged for that night. Now that is, that is the next morning, which is Monday. Yeah? Next morning, Sunday, Palm Sunday, all those things happened earlier. Next morning, he returned to Jerusalem and uh, he was hungry. He saw a fig tree. And when there was no fruit, when he was supposed to have fruit, the leaves were all there, he saw nothing. He cursed it and said, All right, uh, let, the, you, uh, let you not bear fruit from now on. No, no, no. And immediately the tree, uh, immediately the tree actually withered. And the uh, disciples were amazed and they said, How did you, how did it happen? Jesus said to them about faith. Right? How if you have the same kind of faith, you would not only do to this fig tree, but you will also say to the mountain, be removed to the sea, and it will be. And that whatever things you ask in prayer, believing, you will receive. All right? So there was Jesus teaching there. Now, that is when uh, he was, when, uh, this is where the, uh, uh, the next story continues from there. Uh, because he was still in the temple, he was teaching, and so, uh, I, I, now let me see. So, uh, so this, our story begins here. Oh, oh rather, rather, okay. Um, never mind, I forgot the part. So now let's look at the story today. Yeah? When he came into the temple, the chief priest 
And the elders of the people confronted him, saying, By what authority are you doing these things? And who gave you the authority? So, what can we learn from what the chief priests and the elders of the people were saying? What was in their heart? They are not belief or trust. Okay, they don't believe. Huh? They don't believe Jesus. All right. So they were they questioning are questioning, him. They are questioning his. They are questioning his uh, authority, la. Okay. Because what did he doing, do? He's doing all the healing, right? Yes. So they want to know. Yeah. Not only the healing, ah, uh, the cleansing of the temple, right? What else did he do that he, he is asking? You know, by what authority do you do these things? He cleansed the temple, right? What else did he do that they wanted to question him? Where his authority? Lazarus raising raising Lazarus from the dead. Okay, that is quite far back. What about within the temple when he came after cleansing the healing? What else? He healed the blind and the lame. Okay, that one done. What else? What were the little children saying? Yeah, yes. Yeah. Hosanna to, to, to the son of David. And he accepted it, right? So, by yeah. what authority does he do these things? So, when the... Yeah, because... Yep, go on. Yeah, Masa saying something? Sorry, because the chief priest, of, obviously the other day we, you, you said already that the chief priest had the authority from the Romans. The Romans are the one who appointed them. Yeah. So, they kind of questioned him, by what authority did the Romans appoint you, you know? Yep, that's very yeah, clear. Maybe. So, what is important to the chief priests and the elders when they ask this question? Decision. Like you said, lah, we have authority from where? Romans. 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 So, where do you get your authority? So, they were, they were focusing on the authority. They did not believe that Jesus is the Messiah. They say, who, who gave you the authority to clean the temple? Who gave you the authority to teach the people? Who gave you the authority to do all these things? First it says, by what authority and who gave it to you? So what do you learn about the chief priests and the elders? What was more important to them? The miracles that they saw or the authority behind the person. David, what do you think? Uh, uh, the miracle they did on the, the blind and the, the lame, and also the children were uh, giving him praise to him, saying hosannas to the son of David. Uh, but those things were not important to the chief priest, right? Yeah. What was important to them? Want to put him in the trouble? Uh, Who gave you the authority? La? Are you appointed to do this or not? Yeah. Are you appointed? La? Yeah. Who gave you the authority? So they are confronting him now, right? They saw all those things he did. They confronted him and said, Who gave you the authority? So to the chief priests and the elders, it's not important whether you do miracles or healing. They want to know whose authority you do it from. Okay? So let's move on. Huh? And uh, but Jesus answered and said, I also will ask you one thing, which if you will tell me, I likewise will tell you by what authority I do these things. So what can we learn about Jesus? Scarlett? What can you learn about Jesus from what he said? Uh, I'm sorry, I'm charging my iPhone, no battery. Oh, okay. Uh, Touch it, okay, put your charger in. Josephine, put what do you think? Put the charger. Josephine, what do you think? Uh, Jesus was wise. He, he, you ask me a question, I will also ask you back, no? Okay. So, so, he will not commit himself until he knows what they say, right? Yeah. I think he was 
he he knows what is already in their mind but i think he wants them to say it out loud so that they the others can really know where they stand which is quite quite possible he was like exposing them for the uh, hypocrisy yeah. and for the uh, you know for for the deceitfulness of their heart so he knows what they think right so he was setting but do you think that he was setting up a trap for them what do you think wendy uh, uh, i think uh, jesus was in control of the of the situation and to him it's just like you know um, uh, answering a question with a question and true the question, uh, questioning and to the answers given by the priests and the elders, he uh, will be able to give a better answer that's, because that's he will be better informed of their thinking and he will be able to, yeah. you know, to well, say something that, that is wiser. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> no, no, you're, you're right. Well, I, yeah. I think we all see, yeah. Main, you're saying? Yeah, I say it's true because I mean, if, like you say, he knows the, what is in their heart, so instead of saying something, he will want to let them say it so that, so that um, they are the ones who will be caught. La, instead of, yeah. they, I think the chief priest want to catch, want to uh, trap it. Yes. But now he trap them the back, answers. right? By asking yep. the question. Yep. Yeah. Turn the tables <laughs> on them, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, so you see the wisdom of Jesus. Huh? He says, I also have one thing to ask. You see, they ask him one uh, uh, whose authority. He also have one thing to ask them. Okay, and then he says, "If you tell me, yeah, then I will also tell you by what authority I do these things." Uh. so now he set them up for this uh, trap. You see, the baptism of John. All right, do you all understand the baptism of John? What he's referring to? And and be ye baptized in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Wait, 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 wait. wait. <laughs> no, no, that's not yet. <laughs> no, no, uh, the baptism there was of no the baptism of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit yet. Uh, yes, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and, and believe in Him. What is the baptism of John? Shani, you know, yeah, baptism of repentance. Shani, Sh Sh can you come a bit uh, so that we can see you? Uh, so, what's the baptism of John? <laughs> Who is John? Who is baptism John? Bat uh, repentance. No, who is repentance John? And who is John? He was one before Jesus. Uh, John the Baptist. He was the one who baptized uh, Jesus. Uh, he's a forerunner. Uh, and what when he first came, what was he doing? He was uh, baptizing. By declaring the coming of the, the okay. Messiah. And uh, yeah. baptizing yeah. who? The people, Jesus, baptized, the guy he that he declared coming, yeah. But not only just baptizing Jesus, he was baptizing everybody, and he was proclaiming, "Repent, for the kingdom of God is here." Right? So many people came. Uh, even the chief, uh, even the priest, they all come to check out what he was doing. They all and John the Baptist was like there was a mini revival before Christ came. Many people came. You will look. If you look at the Gospel of Luke and some of the Gospels, you'll find that John the Baptist, when he came to him for baptism, then of course Jesus himself came, right? Okay. So now when Jesus said, the baptism of John, where is it from? From heaven or from man? So what do you all think? From? Heaven from heaven, heaven. Uh, obviously it's from heaven right because god sent yes. him god sent right? him yes. and he baptized people for their repentance like david was saying for repentance of sin right yeah. so right. Yes. so now he asked the scribes and pharisees i, I mean the uh, chief priests and the uh, and the elders of the people where is it from from heaven or men now let's look at the answer and they conferred amongst they, they, they talked among themselves. So obviously Jesus was sitting teaching the crowd when they asked the question. When Jesus asked them back, uh, they were huddled one side and they were talking amongst themselves. If we say 
is from heaven, he will say to us, why then did you not believe him? And, but if we were to say it's from men, we fear the multitude. Because all the people count him as a prophet. So what can we learn from the discussion of this chief priest and the people, and the elders of the people? The, the chief priests and the elders of people already knew uh, who Jesus was, uh, i.e. he's the Messiah and all these other things. But they just refused. Yep. Uh, they were defiant to acknowledge him. Yeah. So he forced them to now And ask they were finding their way. They're trying to find their ways out. So he forced them to consider, first of all, John the Baptist. He asked them, what do you think? Is it from heaven or from, uh, from the will of man? From man? So what do you think the chief priests and the elders actually think? about John's baptism, about John and his baptism. Did they believe John <coughs> is from heaven? <coughs> no virus uh, cannot come to you. Uh. I think they, they believe John uh, has authority. So they believe John's authority come from heaven, right? Yeah. Okay? Yes. Yeah. And they know that if they say John's authority come from heaven, what will Jesus say? Why do you believe them? <coughs> yeah, why do you believe him? So they cannot why say that, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, so sorry, huh? But at least you all won't be afraid now huh, when I cough. This is sinus time, huh? So obviously, <laughs> obviously, they believe that John's authority came from heaven. But just like in the case of Jesus, like Jason was saying, uh, they knew it, but they don't want to say it. Right? But then you are in a dilemma. If they don't say that John's baptism is from heaven, they have to say that it comes from men, right? So what will happen? If they say it comes from men in the presence of the multitude. But the multitude will clobber them. Yeah, the multitude respected John as a prophet from God. So you see how Jesus' wisdom uh, turned the tables on them. All right? They will not confess Jesus' authority came from heaven. Jesus brought it down to John. Do you confess that his authority came from heaven? And they say, if he say it, he will say this. If he say that, so they are caught. They are caught in between. They don't know what to say. And so what did they say? We do diplomatic know. answer. Know. It's not diplomatic. Know. It is. Uh, it is. Uh, it is. Uh, what do you call it? Uh, Kung Fu. Uh, what? A... Escapism. <laughs> I don't answer. know. Just refuse to be committed. So he says, "We don't know." Right. So they will not confess that Jesus. Uh, I mean, John's baptism come from God. They will not say it's not from uh, God but, and that it's from men because they are afraid of the people. So they chicken out and they give an answer that really meant nothing. And so we see what Jesus said. Nah? Jesus then said, he says that, nah? so I will likewise not tell you by what authority I do this thing. So what we learn about Jesus and his answer from the answer. This is wise to answer them, no? Yeah, yeah. So he just say, since you didn't tell me, I don't tell you. No? Yeah. Why should I so tell you? Actually, so you. We must, somebody say. So we must actually learn from Jesus. Uh, if people ask us certain things, and then we must learn how to do this type of things. Uh, answer back. Yeah, yeah. Answer. And then we are so afraid that what the government asks, uh, maybe we should learn how to be like Jesus. Uh. Answer in such a way. Uh. Yes, Shani, you were saying something. I couldn't hear you. <laughs> what was that? Go backward and come out again. <laughs> and come out again. <laughs> uh, Alright. Actually, um, okay, <laughs> actually, um, Jesus was uh, using John the Baptist as an analogy. An yep. analogy, sorry. A representative of himself. Mm -hmm. If you are not sure of who I am, since you cannot answer 
full uh, John the Baptist either is a blessing from heaven or from men. Well, can you question my authority? Who mm. am I? So since you can't answer, I cannot give you the answer. Yeah. So it's actually an analogy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Representative, you know, using John as an example to yeah. represent yeah. his position, his status. Mm. And, and actually, you're right. <laughs> and actually, Jesus knew that they knew who he is. So, you see, he probably want, they probably want to get Jesus to outwardly say, mm. But Jesus already, the crowd on Palm Sunday say, Hosanna to the son of David. The little children say, Hosanna to the son of David. Everybody was acclaiming him to be Messiah, that he came from God, right? That was the earliest story. So he didn't have to tell him anymore. When you refuse to listen, why should Jesus tell you again? Right? They heard all those people say, and Jesus himself did all those things, the miracle, and they will not believe. So why should he tell you outright? If you will not even accept those things, there's no point answering really. So we learn something about Jesus. He knows how, like we all say, he's wise. He knows how to ask questions that will turn the table back to reveal the motive of these people, the heart of these people. Your heart was to not recognize him as God, question him his authority, okay? Now he, instead of just, now they were the one who started the question, right? And Jesus gave another question. Now Jesus told them a story and got, oops, what happened? Okay, nothing, Jesus, nothing. all right, Jesus now turned it around and says, and asked them, okay, what do you think? Asked them. A man had two sons and he came to the first and he said, son, go. Work today in my vineyard. Okay. Let's yes. stop there for a moment. Okay? What do you think Jesus was meaning when a man had two sons? And he told the first one, work in the, today, work today in my vineyard. What do you think Jesus was alluding to? First of all, the man. Who was the man? Supposed to represent. What? Did you say father? something? I think the man represents either God or Jesus. Huh? Representing God. Now. Let's put it there. He's representing God. Now. All right? And two sons. What do you think you can see in the two sons? Righteous and the not righteous one. Sorry? Who said uh, that? The, the righteous one and the not the righteous one. No? That's Shani, isn't it? Yeah. yeah okay. I think the, the two sons, one is a good one and one is not the good one. Nah. If, if you put your face like in the, the, uh, I, I, I can't see who is speaking. Okay, uh, Shani. Yeah. Uh, it's a righteous, whether one is righteous and the other one is not righteous. Okay. That's, a good, uh. that's a good thing. Uh, that's a good suggestion here. Eh? Uh, besides righteous and not righteous, what else do we see? Uh, repentance. Okay, before repentance, what does these two sons represent? Uh, God's children. So, one who obey God and one who okay who don't who doesn't. So that, like we said, righteous or not righteous, kind of, huh? Okay, now, uh, let's, let's look, uh, move on. Uh, and it says that, uh, Son, go, work today in my vineyard. What do we learn from the term son? When God says son, what do we learn? So, that is a relationship, right? God sees, I mean, if we're talking the man that presents God, nah? he's talking about the people, all right? The two groups of people, and he still calls them son, right? So we're all created by God, we're all sons. And when he says, go today and work in my vineyard, 
What do we understand by that? Mostly my minyak is the believe in him, I think. Okay. Believe in him is just one thing, but to work in the vineyard, what does that speak to us about? Master servant relationship. Yes, Lord servant. And the vineyard represents? Uh, king, kingdom of God. Okay, his, the kingdom, the things of God. In the Old Testament, the vineyard speaks about Israel. Okay. Uh, to work amongst his people, to work for the things of God, the kingdom of God. No? So when he says, work now. Now, when there is a vineyard uh, and the season is for the uh, fruit to be harvested, is there a sense of urgency? But because it's reflected by saying, go, work now in my vineyard. Do you think that when the owner of the vineyard sends workers in, that there's an urgency? Huh? Yes, yes, yes. If it's right, yeah. if people don't yes, work, yes. work in it, you will lose the harvest, right? Yeah. So you can see in this simple statement, God saying to the son, son, go work today in my vineyard. Now let's hear the response. This response of this son was to say, I will not. And afterwards, he regretted and he went. So what we learned about the first son? Regret is that repent, no? That he knows that he's wrong. Okay. He knows that he's wrong. His first response was to? Yes. His response was to say, no, I will not. No. And, and, and uh, we see today, uh, people are like that. Some people say, refuse the call of God, refuse the, the, the uh, God calling them to work. And then later on, they regret it and they went to work. Okay, that's the first son. Huh? So then Jesus went to, uh, and Jesus said, the man went to the second son and said the like, same thing. Huh? And the second son said, I go, sir. Yes. But he did not go. What do we learn about this son? Lead service. <laughs> How about that? Actually, uh, according to my perception, this is how I look at it. Uh, that is uh, through the story of the man with the two sons. Through this story, Jesus actually was trying to relate to us or to teach a moral value that is generally men. When they speak, the words that they, they, they give out, they may not do it. What they say, they may not do it. That is the, the message okay. for the two sons. Whatever yeah. they say, they don't do it. That's it. Okay. So that's, that's a good point. <laughs> The, the, that's a good point. The first son says, That is a moral not. message, moral value. He's All right. trying to tell us. Let, let's, take it, let's take your point further. Huh? All right. The response of both. Huh? First one says, I will not. Which is not a good response, right? To God. Huh? But he then changed his mind and he went. Huh? So that was words and actions do not tally, you see. Yeah. Yes. So the, actions, the second the actions is more important, huh? Uh -huh. Say no, but then he did it. So no, and then yes, he didn't, he didn't uh. do it, right? Yes. And the second son sounded like what? Like who? Like, okay. Yes. But he didn't do it. See? Didn't do it. Yeah. So actions. So actions and, and what they do not tally. Like many people, right? Yes, Lord, I worship you, Lord. And then after that, when they go out, they do their own thing. They say, I give my life to you, Lord. And then they, they take it back when they leave the church uh, door. We, we, can see, we can see, like you said, nah? this, uh, this, this both didn't do what they say. But the first one didn't do what he says. And he ended up well. Because it was he said the wrong thing first. Then he did the right thing. The second one said the right thing. But he did the wrong thing. That's why when Jesus asked them, who, which of the which of the two did the will of the father? See, 
What do we understand by the term the will of the Father? The Father requested them to do. Wait, wait, just a second. Was it a request? Ah, it's like a kind of go work in my vineyard. It's a command. Don't you think it's more a command mm -hmm. than a request? He didn't say, please, will you? He says, son, go. Work today in my vineyard. Right? So it looks like the father's will is that we work in his vineyard. Bring in the harvest. So which son was obedient? Which one did his will? Of course, the scribes, I mean, the chief priests and the elders had no choice but to say the first, right? Even though both didn't do what they say, but the first one ended up doing the will of the Father. So what is the will of the Father that we learn from this story? Work in the vineyard. Work in the vineyard. Work in the vineyard. So, so this story is an important story. We can ask ourselves, uh, which category are we in? First son, second son. But whether it is first son or second son, the will of the father is work in the vineyard. Not tomorrow, not in the future, but today. So again, uh, the, the chief priests and the elders were caught. They have no choice but to say the first son. Now, then Jesus again, now he interprets it based on John the Baptist. Yeah? And uh, the event from John the Baptist and his baptism, who came to, who came to him for baptism? The tax collector and the harlot, the harlot. who stood from afar off and checked out who is this man kind of thing and did not submit to the uh, uh, to the will of God for baptism. The chief priests and the elders and the leaders of people. So that's why Jesus now Jesus tells the story. Priest. And then he said to them, Jesus said to them, Assuredly I say to you, right? He said, Assuredly I say to you, the tax collectors and the harlots enter the kingdom of God before you. What can we learn from what Jesus said? Sorry, uh, my phone a bit hot already. <laughs> the tax collector and the harlot, they... <laughs> You're going to put ice on your phone. <laughs> okay, who said the tax collector? Some, sorry, I... Who, who, who spoke? I... Okay. Tony, okay, continue. I, the, I mean, the tax collector and the harlot, they come for the baptism. That means they will enter the kingdom of God because they believe in the yeah. belief in God. Mm -hmm. So they, they decided to go for the baptism. They were represented by which son? The eldest son. The first one, huh? Because yeah. initially they lived their lives all messy, they were all sinners. But later they regretted and they believed and they were baptized, right? Yes. So that's why Jesus said to them, He says that nah, the tax collectors and the harlot entered the kingdom of God before you. Earlier on they may say, no, I will not do the will of a father. I live my life messily. But now they enter before you. Now, the second thing I say to you, for John came to you. In the way of righteousness. What do you mean by this? What did Jesus mean when he said, John came to you in the way of righteousness? Because he was, he was, uh, he was, what do you call, was it preaching? Repent. Yeah. And, you know. Yeah. He was coming to repent. them offering the way of righteousness, of right? Yeah. 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 But did they believe him? They yeah. did not. But the tax collectors. Oh, I mean, the, of course, the tax collectors, uh, the tax collectors and the hardest believe, they believe. But the chief priests and the elders. And uh, and when the chief priests and the elders and those people, when they saw, saw it, that means they saw the tax collectors, everybody believing, they themselves did not relent, and believe him. So the second son represents the chief priests 
and the elders of the elders because they look so religious. They're so holy looking. I will go. I will go, sir. But at the end, they never repent. They never change their life. So we learn the lesson of the two sons. This parable of the two sons is a very important parable. Okay. The other possible linkage to it is the Jewish nation and the Gentiles. We are the Gentiles, we're like the first son. We went our own way, all right? And then we, we, we are brought in. But you will realize that the second son, which is Israel, never entered in. They were they, they, it was like the fig tree that withered away. All right. So now we see Jesus' story has got various levels of interpretation, and you, you cannot say one is uh, the only one of them, but you can see that his speech and the words he speak is full of wisdom. And if you consider and dig deeper, you find deeper things that he wants to say to us. All right, that's the story we finish here, right? And um, uh, did we finish here? Yeah, uh, J John came to you in the way of righteousness, but you did not believe him. But the tax collectors and the harlots believed him. And uh, when you saw it, you did not relent and believe him. So they were those that never ended up, even though they said, yes, I will serve you. They serve you religiously in the temple, the chief priests and the leaders, okay? So we finish the story as it is. Now tell me, what are the three observations? I think there are people in Christian Christendom that uh, that have the form of godliness but deny his power thereof. Uh, people who claim to know God and yet they just refuse to 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 acknowledge uh, the divinity of Christ uh, as in this case uh, the, the the preacher sorry the elder and the the, 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 the scribes and the Pharisees they 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 knew they, they knew they knew who this Jesus was Yet they are, you know, scheming, they are trying to scheme their way out and you know, all that. Okay. So we have this kind of people in, in church. So in your observation, in a nutshell, you're saying the hypocrisy of people or what? Uh, in a nutshell, there are people who have form of godliness and deny the power, the power of God. Okay. So what is our application? Our application is um, either we on that side or on this side. So, so let us all be on this side that acknowledge the divinity of Christ and His Lordship. And be particles. And be particles. Yeah. Don't be. Uh, don't be one of those people who uh, have a religious form uh, but no power of God and no holiness in life, but just only outward shell right this is the lesson of the, uh, the uh, parable now what else can we learn what else what second observation do we have uh, we learned that uh, jesus is a very wise person uh, who really can answer the questions uh, with, uh, with wisdom okay our application let's ask from wisdom from god yeah <laughs> so that we can be like him. Huh? Wisdom every time. <laughs> yeah, because sometimes we are simply God, God give here, us huh? spirit or wisdom and yeah. sound mind. If not, sometimes we just hunt down whatever we say and instead of getting what is the result, now we damage people, we hurt people. But if we learn how to speak in wisdom, huh, people's heart will be touched and cut into and they will... Yeah, learning. Yeah. Yeah. A wise way of answering a question. <laughs> Is to ask another True question. An, <laughs> a, a wise way of answering a question from somebody. Now who question your authority and this is a wise way of answering it. Yes. <laughs> so now that's is, is that the same observation as Shani 
where he says we need mm-hmm. the wisdom of God, right? So in mm-hmm. the same way to answer questions correctly. So if that's the same thing, mm-hmm. I want a third observation. Yeah. A third observation. Is that Maza raising her hand? No, no. <laughs> Running away. Waving <laughs> her hand. <laughs> what about David? Any observation from you? Thinking still. What do you say? Thinking. Thinking, Oops. thinking. Okay. <laughs> Josephine, anything from you? One last observation. We must not be uh, be quick to answer. Must go through our head. Uh, just like Jesus, we use another question to answer back. Well, would that be the same? The same, same, be the same, same as, the, as the second observation. Let's have something yes. different from 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 that. No? What about the part about action? I think uh, our, our action speaks louder than words, right? The person who says, the person who do it, instead of those big mouths who will say yes, will say all sorts of things, but never do it, right? Yeah. But I mean, the important thing is to do the will of the Father rather than just say last. Yeah. So, so I think your observation is that don't just say something, but actually do it. Don't fall into the habit of saying spiritual things and not actually living things out. So you say, I will, but you don't do it, right? So observation, now application for us, how does it look like, Ming Ying? How does application look like? Just live the life. The doer of the of the uh, word. Word, uh. Just carry out uh, whatever you say, you just carry out. If you don't carry out, don't say it. <laughs> yeah, no, don't say it. A lot of people can say a lot of things, okay, don't do it. But right? the other thing is so, uh, if you know the will of the Father, you'll be like, you don't want to say it, and then because you'll be like the uh, chief priest, and the, you see, you know the authority of God, you don't want to say it because the, so you, you, you don't say and don't do anything, also not very good. Now you, you are like uh, trying to be on the, you know, on the balancing between two sides. It's better to choose the right side. If you know it's the will of a father, say, I will do it and then do it. Okay, anyway, so. Uh, whatever you have posted, uh, uh, suggested observation, uh, can you post it into WhatsApp? I already sent you the story. Just now I was figuring, uh, figuring around with sending you the story. Then you post your observation and the application, right? First you say, my observation is this and the application is that. That will help us continue to remember that, all right? Now we close the word of uh, prayer and then we can have a cup of coffee. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so uh, Masa, can you close this in a word of prayer? Father, we thank you for this day. Thank you that you have given us this gadget. Thank you for this lockdown that we can go into this gadget of meeting online, Father. Lord, you are so, so... Um, Advanced. Uh, yeah. <laughs> You're so advanced, Lord. You know what is uh, what your people will do. You, know, you teach us that we've now learned another skill and you've given us another skill, Father. Lord, we, we want to worship you and we want to thank you, Father. Lord, uh, thank you for your word today. Help us and uh, teach us to be uh, children who are obedient to you. That um, now that we know what your will is, help us to know how to uh, do it, Father. And help us not to just give you lip service, but uh, our hearts away from you. But keep our hearts soft and tender and doing your will, Father. Lord, uh, as we leave from this place, be with each one of us. Uh, protect us from all harm and danger and uh, bring us back together on Sunday to hear the word. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay. Bye bye, everybody. I'm going to bye. end the meeting. Bye. Okay, good night. Thank you. Bye. bye. Who's going to bring the word next week? Oh, who's going, yeah, who's going to tell the story? They're the one with the two fingers, or that one? Listen. Uh. Okay, listen. Uh, we'll tell the story.
Okay. Yeah. Okay, ah. I I did it. Ah, okay. All right. Thank okay, okay me. I'm going to end the meeting nice. now. Bye bye. Okay, bye. We must leave the. We must don't leave. Leave the meeting. Is it click? Leave the meeting. Oh no. Uh, if I do end okay. meeting for all. Don't have to leave. If I end meeting for all, all of you will be kicked out, right? I end meeting now. Yes. Okay, bye-bye.